Create some space, how you go belly down, you open the... You need to put the pressure down. See the back. Mondays in Frontline Academy, Oslo, headquarters. We're training with um, some of the guys from the pro team. Uh, Jack is in training camp. Jack and Elias and Dada, they're in training camp for next matches. So just doing some specific training here to warm up. Today's just going to be grappling. We're going to focus on some small details for the guys to break a sweat. Tomorrow they're going to do some MMA sparring. So we're going to go very technical today, having some good time and good quality of guys here. <laughs> From direct from Frontline Academy in Oslo, in the headquarters. Uh, the first time I was invited to compete at Polaris was I had one week notice, and uh, for a big name, the co-main event, uh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> at all, but uh, you know, you make yourself ready quick uh, in your mind. And uh, I was actually training for the Europeans at the time, and, and if I'm not wrong, and then boom. I went there for the Coleman event, and I fought the big name, and, I, and, and at the time, was, um, was uh, no decisions. It was going to be the first event, was the, the first Polaris was if there was no submission, it would be a tie. And end up in a tie because uh, my opponent didn't submit me, but I didn't see this as a tie, right? He dominated me most of the match, and, and I was defending my back for a long time. And then the second time was with um, another big name uh, that is based in London, Charles. It's a, I consider him as a good friend. I, I look up to him a lot. I love to see him competing, and I had the pleasure to, to be there sharing the match with him. And at that time, it was a decision with the referees, and, uh, and uh, I end up, he ended up with a victory, right? And, Fair enough. So now I'm going back to the third time and, and try to get a victory myself. But more than getting a victory or, or the Polaris title, I think that uh, what's important, I keep following all the events and, and I love to see the show. As an athlete and as an as a audience, I think it's an awesome concept, an awesome event. And um, I'm, I'm going there to, to try to put up a show, right? So it's, it's very good that they have, like the, they, they have the referee decision. I really like that. So we, we can push each other. You can push each other a little bit more. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight against uh, um, a new guy that is coming up. He came up for the black belt is, uh, in the last couple of years, if I'm not wrong. He's been competing against some of my students, um, and I see him coming up on the rankings. So I'm looking forward to sharing the match with him. You know, with all all this all respect, there's no challenge or or, or nothing to prove. But this year coming more prepared. And um, and uh, I hope everybody's gonna like the, the the match there. It doesn't matter if I win or lose, right? I'm going there for the win, but I'm also going there for the show. So I hope it's gonna be fine. So I want to say what's not gonna happen again. The first one I was really nervous. Why? Because it's like Michelle Nicolini. Yeah, that was a good match. Yeah. And so what do you think? First time there, you know, doing super fight. Uh, it's different feelings. Like I think every fight is like one different feeling. You know, for that that fight, I'm very excited. Like that's different. Like I'm happy. Uh, it's not my weight class, so I can eat more. Uh, it's no gi. It's something very new for me. Yeah, we kind of work together, you know, like um, he knows exactly what works well for me and he kind of put it there and if he see I didn't get it the way how he want, we change and I tell him where I prefer and we always change the move until we make perfect. Fight kind of the way how I fight, you know, like try make Jiu Jitsu beautiful again. This is what I, I want the, the next generation look up for me and say, oh, this girl fight with her heart, you know. This is the way how I want to fight. Always forward, you always look for the submission. Doesn't matter what happened, try your best. The, I, as I told you, I really think IBJJF has 
a lot of things to get changed. It, the rules is not good for the way how I like to fight, the way how I like to, this is why I like Polaris, you know. It's just no point, submission only, and this is the way how I like to fight. Nothing Stop. new, nothing surprise. It's gonna be like G fighting as, uh, as always I fight, you know. Like fight for my heart, fight the way how I like to fight, you know, like that's my personality there. That's the way how people like to watch me fight. And this is the way how I like to fight, so. <laughs> Oh, I'd love to. It should. Polaris should come to the island. It'd be so much better. Like, think of all the good people you got on island, and how big Jiu Jitsu is. I had no idea how big Jiu Jitsu was before I moved here. I thought it was East Coast and SVG, and that was it. I had no idea that there were other gyms, which is very ignorant of me. <laughs> very ignorant of me. Because I was just like, oh, there's East Coast, and then there's SVG. There's the only other gym I knew. I was like, Conor McGregor. <laughs> and I thought there was only one SVG. I'm an idiot. I know. I'm gonna get people. I'm gonna get hate from. My life. I've learned now. Like I've been to lots of the different gyms. There's loads of brilliant people here. They should bring Polaris to Dublin, and I should be on it. That is kind of the the premise with the training. It's you do go really hard with each other, but you don't mind. It's nothing personal, um, and we understand that some of us might get emotional when we're training and stuff. But we all understand where we're, where each other's coming from, and it's it's nice to know that the other person knows exactly how you're feeling too. So that's been nice to be in an environment where everyone's really understanding. Uh, they compete on the same sort of stages as I am. Like literally there's four of us doing uh, Polaris, so that's really cool. Um, and just feeling like we're all in it together, training together is, is just really nice. And it's really um, like motivated me too. When I see everyone else training really hard, it makes me want to pick up my level too. Yeah, I think that's, that's quite common. Yeah, I, I, I will be honest about that. I think a lot of people do that. Um, again, not naming any names, but I think a lot of people are in that mindset where it's like kind of like on a high horse and feeling like, oh, well, I know I'm, I'm this person, uh, I'm from this country, I, so I already know these things and I've been doing this my whole life. And it, it's just, you see these European athletes actually coming through and they're having these different approaches and they're coming from smaller gyms where they haven't been training since they were five years old and not everyone on the mat is a black belt and you see those people having to find new ways and quicker ways to, to develop. And I think that that's what really inspires me is to see that and know that that's possible. My name is Fionn. I'm going to Polaris. I hope you know that. <laughs> um, it'll be really fun, hopefully, unless I lose. See you there. <laughs> All right, he needs my knee to go out in order for me to fall. This is now Polaris's ninth show. Um, and ever since the beginning, um, I've been seeing their work and like how professional, how uh, amazing the, the energy is there in the event, you know, seeing the videos and the matches, they've been putting together really awesome matchups um, since the beginning, you know, a lot of the best guys, um, you know, so basically I've been dying to get on one of these cards um, since the very first one. Um, this card is, is super stacked. Uh, a lot of the world's best matches I'm really excited for. Um, I'm a, definitely a big fan of Wagner Hosha and, uh, and his style, his game. Um, he's a friend of mine as well. We've trained together, so um, it'll be nice to be there with him, um, as well as Jazari. Um, she's actually going against uh, one of Europe's top females that I'm kind of friends and familiar with because her instructor is a great friend of mine, her instructor, Dara O'Connell. And uh, so I've been watching her career. I met her at the last ADCC. Um, and so this is a big opportunity for her to, to, to face Jazari, who's been one of the best for quite some time. You know, we're almost two sides of the same coin, uh, whereas most of his life and, and career has been MMA, um, you know, where, and now he's doing a little more grappling as his MMA career is coming to an end. Um, he's always been known as one of the best grapplers in MMA. So jiu-jitsu has been his foundation. And I'm the, I'm the opposite. Uh, my whole career in life has basically been jiu-jitsu. And now I'm doing MMA um, and, you know, representing for uh, jiu-jitsu in, inside the cage. And so, um, you know, we're, we're very similar in the, those aspects and the fact that we both uh, are known as some of the top grapplers in MMA. Um, you know, I think it's, it's pretty intriguing for everybody. Um, he's a... Uh, 
you know, an amazing competitor. He's been in there with so many of the world's best. Uh, I know it's going to be a really tough match. Um, you know, he's uh, very, uh, you know, he, he, he pushes. He, he goes forward all times. He likes to wrestle. He grinds. He has a lot of pressure. And, and I'm similar in a lot of those uh, aspects. So um, for sure, it's going to be exciting. Uh, I just want to put on a great match for everybody, and I'm 100% trying to get that submission before, before the time's up. That was great. Three shot was perfect. Three shot. Uh, training Hinto has been great with John Donahue. His style is a little different. You know, I come from a wrestling background, so in, in MMA, so originally I was a lot of control, control base, pass, all that. And here, John's style is all about you know submit, submit, submit. So it's been interesting me trying to blend the blend the two styles together and get a lot more uh, submissions in my game. You know, this match have only been, I think I've only known about a couple weeks. Supposed to, originally I was supposed to go against Dylan Dennis, but he, uh, he ducked out. He called them and asked for me and then decided, yeah, he, he got scared once I accepted it. So it wasn't a match I was prepared for, so it was short notice. So, I mean, he's a tough guy to train for. You know, he's big, you know, moving up a weight class. But, you know, certainly a lot of good guys here. Unfortunately, Gordon Ryan, you know, he'd have been ideal, but he's been hurt with a knee injury. But there's still, uh, you know, this room is a stack full of good guys. Uh, I don't have too big of a game plan, you know. Rafael Lovato Jr. is one of those guys. Great top game, great guard. He's, uh, he doesn't have a lot of weaknesses, you know. I need to actually go and start studying him. I've, I've watched his matches, know who he is, obviously. But I need to do a little more research. But I think he's got to go out there and just uh, fight my hardest and look for submissions. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna go out there and just go as hard as I can. You know, like anytime I compete, I'm going out there to win and going out there to, to you know, to push my hardest. And it's just uh, this one's a little, this one's exciting because he is one of the best and a guy I've been watching compete for years. So it's always a little more exciting when it's a guy that you've been watching for years and, and that you respect. You know, sometimes you don't like a guy, someone like Dylan Dennis, which makes you push a little harder. But this is a case where I'll push just as hard, but it's but it's because this guy I respect, which I guess it's a it's a little nicer going into these matches. Yeah.